fans, I'm Amber Marsala. The change of UFC 197 to UFC 196 is not the only change that has happened to this event. Due to a foot injury to Rafael Dos Anjos, UFC President Dana White announced Nate Diaz as the replacement to take on Conor McGregor in what will be a non-title welterweight fight. Conor McGregor's goal of becoming the UFC's first active two-weight division champion will be put on hold. Instead, McGregor will now take on Nate Diaz in a 170-pound welterweight bout because of the short notice. UFC President Dana White said that he called other fighters to take the place of Dos Anjos. Former featherweight champion Jose Aldo declined due to the short notice, and Frankie Edgar also declined citing injury. That left Nate Diaz, who is 2-2 two two in his last four fights. Diaz defeated Michael Johnson in his last outing by unanimous decision and lost to lightweight champion Dos Anjos before that. One thing that Diaz will always bring is his talk. Diaz has never been one to hold back and he called out McGregor in his last fight. Yeah, Conor McGregor, you're taking everything I work for, mother I'm gonna fight your You know what's the real fight, what's the real money fight is me, not these clowns that you already punked at the press conference. Don't no one wanna see that, you know you beat them already. That's the easy fight, you want that real right here. Hey, and I'm not- Unfortunately, we can't talk like that on Fox. Diaz will now get his shot against the brash Irishman. Let's see how they stack up. Diaz will be the taller fighter and have a slight reach advantage over McGregor. Diaz is a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and is great on the ground. While he doesn't have the same takedown offense as Dos Anjos, Diaz is a big threat on the ground. He has good striking, although he can be flat-footed when it comes to his stand-up game. Diaz will definitely need to utilize his reach and weight to his advantage against McGregor, and also get him on the ground to try to submit him. As for McGregor, he is now jumping up another weight class and fighting Diaz at welterweight. McGregor is on a 15-fight win streak, including his last five by KO and TKO. He is coming off his incredible 13-second knockout of Jose Aldo to claim the featherweight title. McGregor will bring the talk to go along with the great striking and angles he utilizes. McGregor will have the better stand-up game, but will have to be very careful not to go to the ground as that is one of Diaz's strong points. The trash talk was brought in their recent press conference announcing the fight, as well as McGregor's prediction on how he thinks the fight will end. He's, he's, like, a, he's like a little cholo gangster from the hood, but at the same time, but at the same time, he coaches kids jiu-jitsu on a Sunday morning and goes on bike rides with the elderly. He makes gun signs with the right hand and animal balloons with the left hand. So, I, 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 I'm a, you're a credit to the community. Fuck you. Fuck, fuck you. you. Hell, I don't give a fuck what you say, motherfucker. Yeah, thug it on mine, motherfucker. What you got? I feel his repetitive foot patterns and his pull motions are too readable, too predict predictable. He will be too slow in there. The speed will stifle him. His soft body and his lack of preparation, he will not be able to handle the uh, ferocity. So, end of the first, I feel he will be put away. I, I, I respect Nate, don't get me wrong, I do respect Nate. There's a lot of pussies in this game, and he is not one of them. So, uh, don't, don't get me wrong, there's a respect there between us. But it's business in, in, in there, and, and business is business. He will be KO'd inside the first round. With such short notice, Diaz is at a disadvantage in preparation for this fight, but anything can happen once they are locked in the octagon. Vegas sportsbooks have McGregor at about a minus 385 favorite. So will Nate Diaz be able to shock the Irishman on short notice, or will McGregor continue to dominate? Let us know what you think. Leave us a comment or a tweet. I'm Amber Marsala, and you don't want to miss this fight.